can't even believe we're at episode seven, your favorite American Idol after show where we serve all the American Idol tea and talk to your favorite American Idol contestants and other celebrities. I am your host, Weave Enthusiast. Thank you, Goldie Lux, Michaela Gordon. Hey. Yeah. Joining me is the queen, winner of The Voice, the beautiful Alice in Oh my god, yeah. thank you for even like wanting to be on my show. Yeah. And the beautiful, mm. stunning, incredible celebrity stylist, Art Khan. Oh, hi. Hi. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Put your hands together Cheers. for the incredible DJ Lisa Pittman. Coming at you live uh, from Beaches in West Hollywood. This week, thanks to Jack Daniels, our official sponsor, we have our mm. specialty cocktail, Ada. Vox on the rocks. Amen. Cheers. Cheers to yeah. Ada. Mine's virgin. Cheers Don't worry, Ada. Ada. We're all drinking virgins. It's the only thing virginal about me. Hello, Archon. Hi. We've been going back for years. Met since I was 16 years old. When you go to audition, do you think it's better if you dress to impress or if you kind of dress down so you can relate more to the audience? In my experience on Idol, I think most people like to see that style evolution. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. My style was like, erratic when I was on the show. Thank God we had stylists, thank God I had you. Who's been your favorite idol transformation? Biggest one that I noticed strangely was Taylor Hicks. When really? He, yeah, he would pull out these shirts that were like short sleeve dress shirts that were square from Banana Republic. A lot of people thought Taylor lost a ton of weight that season. He did not. He just wore better clothes. He wore clothes that fit him. Yeah. <laughs> um, myself, remember when I came in, it looked like I didn't even brush my hair. like looking like a hot Jewish mess. That's Stop. what it looked like. You were gorgeous, I loved you. Is it a pro or a con when auditioning for Idol or The Voice to have experience or to go in totally raw? I think it's nice to have a little bit of experience because you're not so shocked by the workload right. and everything that goes into it. I mean, it's constant work. If you're not working, you're figuring out what comes next. If you're not figuring out what comes next, you're picking the outfit and, or the song, which can change or, I mean, it's just so much going on at all times. So so for me, I'm happy that I sort of knew, you know, what I was getting myself into right away. Because there were definitely some moments where I was like, you're going to be okay. You know, this yeah. is normal. This well, is how you make a show. You seven days a week, 20 hours. It's the Olympics. Yeah, it's the Olympics, it is. basically. I, well, I think a lot of people don't know that. Like, it's not just a walk in the park on no, either it show. No, it never stops. You're dying. And you're, and you're sequestered, so you're alone. Yeah. I mean, I was just yeah. telling Art that I remember Adam, when Adam Lambert was on the show, he would call me from the Beverly Center and be like, I'm at the Beverly Center, pretend like you're here, run into me, you know, like just so we could see each other. Yeah, well, you're best friends with Adam Lambert. I am. How did you guys meet? Did you know each other after Idol? Or? No, before, oh before. We actually, um, this is my favorite story. We met, I was on stage performing, and I'm looking out at the audience, and the whole audience is like this, and then Adam's face was like, he was in a blue wig and like silver rouge pants and heels, and I was just serving him, and he was living for me, I literally just performed this whole thing like to him and <laughs> I, I met that. him after and realized he was friends with a bunch of my friends and he was the best audience member ever having no idea who he was or what he was capable of and then we ended up doing a musical together so we became like ride or die and then he went and did Idol like a year later so I remember I was over oh here at the Earth Cafe like going through songs like you gotta sing heart you gotta sing queen you I gotta sing know. this you gotta did sing you that. influence him yeah we, we definitely right. Right. I mean we definitely sat down and looked through all the songs and he did the same for me with the voice. I love Adam Lambert and I feel like particularly one of the contestants this season is very influenced by Adam Lambert. She's my favorite contestant, Ada Fox. You work obviously with drag queens. Um, last night Ada Fox did not get voted through by America but the judges saved her. Do you think that America's ready to see a drag queen win? No. And I don't mean I don't think that means that she shouldn't. Personally, my opinion of those contestants, she's by far the most talented. And I always say this about singing shows. There is always one or maybe two people that are clearly more uh, capable at singing. That's not always what these shows are about. Unfortunately with Ada, in this day and age, which seems insane, it's still an issue. Ada, as Adam, is a man, and that range. Can we it's just insane. tell It's I don't it's, know people that have that kind of range. Nobody does. Or have <laughs> the balls to go out there and do Jennifer Hudson, to do Queen. I, 
I feel like she has the balls. She literally. She does. She does have the balls. She literally <laughs> has the balls. Shut up. That's the one line that you. It's a good one. It's a good one. So, how do we feel in general with this season? If I had a psychic bet, I would say that Katie is a really great songwriter and should and will probably have a really great career. I love, I've loved Katie from the beginning. The judges made it very apparent that she had been reading the message boards and it was really starting to get to her. On Sunday, her whole, her whole vibe felt very defeated. And they told her in the beginning, don't read the message boards, but it's damaging. And now in my one woman show, when I do my big cabaret performance, I do a whole voice medley where I read my most hateful YouTube uh -huh. comments. <laughs> And we laugh about them. Brilliant. And <laughs> really, yeah. And and like all my favorite ones. And you're so busy. I love following you. I love you seeing are. your children. I love seeing your performance. Thank you. Your body is rocking. <gasps> you're going to Vegas soon, by the way. I'm I so know. excited. You're gonna come be with me. No. When? July? Like August. August, September. We're supposed to open in September. The Voice Residency at the Hard Rock Now Virgin Hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah, great. big theater and eight show a week residency of Good. some well, Voice people. I'll be in the front row. And I'm gonna come to your After show. After my show, I can't wait. And our stylist is amazing. Thank you. RuPaul's Drag Race is literally everybody's favorite oh, show right now. You're you. killing it. And you actually just did the Heathers too. I forgot about that. I did Heathers. He soon to be released, I'm hoping. I, do we know the release date yet or no? We, I don't. Okay, well, we'll pump it when it happens. Yes, please. I'm so proud of you. You guys, thank you so much for coming of on the course. show. Thanks for I love us. you. One more time for DJ Lisa Pittman. You were so amazing. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for joining us. We will see you next week. And remember, as always, thank you, Jack Daniels. But if you're drinking and driving, let Jesus take the wheel. Cheers, guys.